And here we have our Ice Dragon so far, up to date. Um, we've been using a combination of paints and inks, uh, dry brushing and just picking out different details. And I, I wanted to get them like frosty cold so that he gives off that, excuse me, feeling of cold and icy. So I kept his spikes nice and white and I've used uh, over black base I used a dry brush in the white and then I went over it with a wash of the X13 metallic blue because I wanted to give them like a you know a fantasy sort of sheen magical mystical sort of sheen to him to his skin so I got that and then uh, yeah basically it's just been combining touching it up with a neon acrylic uh, toxic mist from army painters for highlighting and giving it different tones and spots and that sort of worked nice down the tail to give a sort of on his chest so now I'm working my way around with this ink that I have which is really 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 concentrated and it is a metallic ink that I can thin out with water and use it as a wash and it's giving me this nice uh, sort of purple hue in around in here in his head and down in here along in his spikes so I think that'll sort of warm it up and blend in all these different sort of colors that I got here and uh, yeah I think he's pretty well ready now uh, I have a base plan uh, that I thought was going to work pretty good and then I set him on top of it a little closer look at him um, I set him on top of the base and thought oh maybe a different idea for him because when I set him on top of the mountain that I've got uh, instead of coming out of the cave it was almost more striking with him on top of a perch so uh, I'm gonna sort of work through that I'm gonna let this dry I want to pick out just a little bit tighten up a bit of the spikes along the bottom and with a, like a little bit of a thin wash so I can just sort of blend the blue and the white together and uh, we will get him on some ice and some snow and figure out whether we're going to have him perched on top of the mountain or we're going to have him coming out of the cave. So for now anyways that's just a quick look at our dragon so far and uh, I don't know, I, th I think he's looking pretty cold, pretty frosty, and I hope my granddaughter really likes him, but uh, anyways, there's the look at the top so far, that's kind of what he looks like on the side, we'll spend some more time tightening up these splines, his fingers on his wings and stuff, but I'd say we're about, oh, a little more than halfway there, I'd say, maybe two-thirds of the way there, I think he's getting close to being... Uh, pretty well finished out but there's the color scheme and when I come back next I'll get the base out and we can uh, experiment with our snow uh, I think I've got uh, a good way to make snow um, and we'll get into that in the next episode so until then I'm the model student and uh, I'll see you soon cheers <laughs>